Welcome back. This is Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions Academy. Um, help us to share our video and also subscribe. Sorry. Subscribe to our channel. Help us to share our video and subscribe to our channel. Uh, Further Solutions Academy, we have over 140 videos on line both you especially on youtube follow us up any topic you have difficulty with just go there it will be solved uh, different topics and well explanation now in this video i'll be working you on circle uh, circle is a very important topic in mathematics which i'll be working on uh, just circle property of circle and and the next video will now be on circle theorem uh, before we talk about circle theorem you must understand the uh, the concept which is a property and definition of circle now when we talk about circle don't forget that circle is being made up by a point when you enlarge your point you will surely generate what circle it means angle at a point angle at a point is 360 and also angle on a circle is 360. Now, what we are trying to say here is that circle and point they have the same, they have some similarity and the property. And don't forget that when we enlarge point, it will generate circle. When I enlarge point, it will generate circle. It means that center of the circle, that center of the circle, anything that comes from center of the circle. Like, uh, let me make this my circle to be very big because I'm going to be talking on this very well. I will try to explain some things. Like, uh, if I have my circle this way, now this is my circle. Okay, sorry, I use my hand at home. Sorry, don't have to manage it. Now, this is a very good circle that I have on my board here. Now, at the point of it, this is the point. This point generates this when you enlarge it. I think geography students can be of play there. Now, if I have a line that this is center O, must be center O, and I have a line. Now, this is being indicated as center O. Now, this line is a line <coughs> that divides the circle to two equal parts. This equal part, we call it diameter. This is called diameter. It means a diameter is a line that divides a circle to two equal parts. Now, if this line that made up this circle, we call it arc line. Arc. We have different type of arc line. Can be a different type of line. We have a straight line. We have arc line. We have um, it and so on and so forth. Now, <clears throat> when I have another line this way, this is another line. They are both line. Now. This line, we call it chord. Chord is a line that divides circle to two unequal parts. This one, diameter divides circle to two equal parts. It means when it's a chord, it means it divides the line to two unequal parts. Now, when I have another line that draw from the center and touch the circumference, this is a line that draw from the center and touch the circumference. This is called radius. This is called radius. Now, a radius is a line drawn from the center and touch the circumference of the what? Of the circle. That is all about that. Now, if I have two radius that they are forming a simple angle. <laughs> they are forming a simple angle. This is the radius one. If it is two radius, we call it radius. We call it in mathematics. What is a radius? It means plural of radius. Now, I have a theta here. This is my theta. Now, this particular part, the whole part of this, let me put my radius here, sorry, so that I will be able to radius. Now, this particular part, we call it sector. Sector. Now, we have sector. When I have a cut part of, now, let me just use this to make. Now, a whole of this part is sector. Now, this part cut off. We call it okay. Let me not use this one. I'm not going to use this one. Let me use this one. Okay. I want to use the other part of this. Okay. 
I have this one. If I use my cord line here, now, I now have this cut off on the part of the circle. We call it segment. Let me put it. This is called segment. This is called segment. Now, when we talk about circle, number one, you must know that a line here, we call it arc line. Number two, a line draw from the center and touch the circumference is called radius. If it is two, we call it radia. Now, and also, a diameter is a line that divides circle to two equal parts. When a chord is a line that divides circle to two unequal parts. And also, when you cut up the part of this, this part, we call it segment. We call it segment. It means a cut up of a what? Of a circle. That is a segment. Now, all, all what I've been saying, they're more important on circle. Now, before we go further, I must to let some people know we have how to find work on this particular point. At this point, area of a circle, area of circle is pi r squared. Is pi r squared. Now, perimeter of a circle, we call it perimeter and you can call it circumference. When you talk about perimeter or circumference, we are talking about the outer part of the what? Total sum of outer part of it. Like perimeter of a table of a of a plane shape, of a rectangle, of a square. And so perimeter of a circle, we call it perimeter. Is 2 pi half. 2 pi half. Now, when we talk about 2 pi half, the next thing I want you to understand is length of cord. Length of cord. When we talk about length of arc sorry length of arc i'm doing it sorry i make a mistake length of arc length of arc is always equals to theta all over 316 multiplied by 2 pi r length of arc is is theta equals to 360 pi 2 pi r now the next thing i want to, to understand is area of a sector area of a sector of a sector is theta all over 360 multiplied by pi r squared. Now theta is just like angle form. This is the angle form. This is the theta. I can call it, I can have another, we call it beta. It means there are two sectors here. Theta is a smaller the, uh, sector. Now or minor or okay beta is a word bigger or major or anyhow bigger sector it means indirectly there are two sectors here the upper part and the lower part this part and this part now it means when we talk about area of sector we are talking about what by r um square another one that um we need to understand here please take it of this information that are very very important now, let me come to this part. Okay, other solutions academy. Other solutions academy. The next thing I want us to understand here is that uh, length of art, I've talked about sector, I mean sector, area of sector. Now, area of segment, area of segment. I've explained area of segment, it means the cutout of the circle, which is, is theta, uh, which normally is, or is equals to, let me use the word is equals to, let me ask, it's an assignment statement, is equals to um, length of arc, length of arc, I mean area of sector, sorry, area of sector, I made a mistake, area of sector minus area of triangle area of triangle this is area of triangle it means what is my area of sector i have theta all over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r squared minus r uh, base height r base height area of triangle there are three types of area of triangle i think when we are talking about that we have um we have the one of um the one attached with angle, 
that I will be putting sign here, sign theta or whatever. I have the one of uh, Euro's formula and so on and so forth. Then when we are talking about self triangle, we will work more on that. Now, the next thing I want us to understand is perimeter. Let me quickly make all use of perimeter of um, sector. Perimeter of a sector, it means total surface area of the sector. It must be length of arc, length of arc plus two radius, two arc, two radius or radius. Now, if length of arc is theta all by 360 multiplied by two by r plus what two r. That's just it. Now, my theta is always when we talk about degree is equal to three um. 180 180 don't think about that this is rad rad equals to 360 and equals to my theta is always equals to 22 all over 7 which also is equals to when you divide this number i can call it um um when you divide it to be uh four point something something which is um um That will be three point something, three point one four something something. Is it one point seven or one four um uh one four eight? Sorry, one point two, one point two. Now and so on and so forth. Now, but don't forget that two radius radius equals to one revolution. Please take note of that. One revolution. Please take note of that. Revolution it means a circle, it's a complete circle. That is all about that. Now, another thing that I want us to understand here before we go deeper, uh, what is how do I find the perimeter of a segment? Perimeter of a segment, perimeter of a segment, I can also call it perimeter of segment. Perimeter of a segment is always equal to length of length of arc. Plus length of cord. Now the problem is how can I find cord? How can I find cord? Now I will now just show two or three examples on how to find length of cord. How to find length of cord? How can somebody find length of cord if you are hard to find? I will go to exams now, check out for past questions, and get a way, show you a way of finding length of, of, of chord. Length of chord. Okay. Now, now length of chord is very easy to find. Let me go to question. Okay, I have one question here. Um, a circle, a chord is eight centimeter long in a circle in a circle in a circle of radius 10 centimeter Full stop calculate this is calculate d Angle angle suspend suspended at the center and the circumference of a of the circle. Now, I have this type of question to solve. I want to look for the angle suspended and the, um, and the circumference of the circle. Solution. This is how the question will come. It means I'm looking for the word angle, which is that theta. Okay, let me first draw, interpret in a diagram form. This is the first thing I will do. 
It means this is the center. I will direct the angle we are talking about. This is the theta, which is angle suspended. Angle suspended at the what? At the center. Now, we have a radius of 10 centimeter. Radius of 10 centimeter. This is my radius of 10 centimeter. And I've said it that radius, two radia, radia are equals to one diameter. Two radia are equals to one diameter. That's number one. And radius are always equal. That is why anytime we are talking about triangle with from a center to I will explain that soon. They are always equal. No worry, I will explain that. Now it means here also will be 10 centimeter. Now, since it's 10, 10 centimeter, I will move on to the next one, which is I will be moving on to length of cord, which is length of cord is 8 centimeter. 8 centimeter. Now, I'm looking for this part, which is what? The angle. How do I go? I can call it this way. That's the best way. It means here will be theta all over 2. Here will be theta all over 2. Now, since I have theta all over 2, here will be 4 centimeter. Here will be 4 centimeter. Now, since I have it, I will generate, I've generated what? Uh, one simple uh, um, but, um, rectangle triangle, which I will have it in this form that I can say that what? I have my opposite. I have my, uh, this is 10 centimeter also. Now, I can use that to generate my what? Uh, theta. It means I will have what? Theta. Now, okay, half of that, 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 that. Okay, um, it means I can call it, even though I don't need to put half, because I'm from students, they will get it wrong. I can decide to put it beta and what? Beta one or beta two. It means beta plus beta equals to theta. That is what I'm trying to say there. Beta plus beta, it will give you the whole angle, the whole angle. Now, it means I've divided into two. It means I can say that what? Um, sine, so ka twa is so ka twa. It's very important. We have sine equals to O all over H. We have cos equals to what? A all over H. And we have twa, which is tan. We call it tan, which is equals to um, um, A all over H. All over O all over A. A all over, all over. Now we have opposite hypotenuse. This is opposite hypotenuse adjacent hypotenuse opposite, which is what I quoted at that point. That is the very simple. I'm working on this because I have this is facing this, which is my opposite, and I have it at hand. And I'm also having this also. I don't have the height. This is height from the center to the words chord. Center from the for me from the chord to the word center. It means this is the height of the word of the um from the center to the chord. It means I'll be having sine beta equals to um opposite. What is my opposite? Opposite is four all over what I just I put in us. I put in us is always facing 90. I put in us always face 90 of the triangle of the right angle triangle. It means I can move on by having um sine theta equals to if I divide four divided by uh, it to be zero point four <coughs> to be um zero point four four divided by ten to be zero point four now is zero point four I think I put my answer in zero point four it means my theta is equal to sine inverse of zero point four now calculator is allowed here to use electric machine is allowed to yet to use it means um, somebody help me with capital there okay we have shift sign shift sign of 0 0.4 which is going to be 23 point something it means my theta equals to 23 point point uh, six approximately Point. No, let me just, as a mathematics, Sean, you must learn to present your answer in four significant figure. Now, I will now approximate that theta, beta equals to, approximately equals to 
23.6. what six it means approximately here one two three four it must be four so that figure now that is my answer it means i've told you that beta plus beta because they are the same they are four four and they are the same thing is equals to what is equals to what is my theta my theta will be now be two of this it means two of beta which is theta equals to what is two of beta 23 point um, point six bracket of two i cannot multiply the number by what 23.6 multiplied by 2. I will have my, which is my theta, is equals to 47.2. Um, that is all the, it means the angle at theta is equals to 47.2. If I'm asked to find the height from the center to the, um, this thing, to the chord, it means I won't just stress my stress with the help of Pythagorean theorem. We can be of help, which I'll be having my i squared equals to hypotenuse squared, which is 10 squared plus what? 4 squared. 4 squared. It means I'll be having 100 plus uh, 16, which is h equals to 100, 116. Uh, I will root it. Since I have its root, it means I will look for the root of one um, root of. 116 116 and it will be 10 point something 10 point it will be 10.7 something 10.7 let me make it false in that figure 10.477 which is approximately equals to 10 point what 8 10 point 8 centimeter it means the height of here to so here is 10 point it and so on and so is it can it be 10.8 there's something wrong okay that is just about that opposite plus hypotenuse oh 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 sorry i made mistake oh i made mistake sorry for that let me quickly correct myself i'm so sorry it means here can never be what it will be um 84 sorry for that mistake it will be um it will be 94 it means 100 minus 16. 100, that would be 90, I mean 84 minus 16. That would be 84. Sorry for that. I'm so sorry. Now, 84. I'm talking about square of 84, which is uh, to be 9 point something. Square of 84, which is 9 point, uh, which is 9 point, 9. All these are wrong. Sorry for that. 9 point, um, 9.165 9.165 which is approximately 9.2 approximately 9.2 okay that is for that that is for that okay let me give another example it means i've shown you how to find the angle and the height of the word from the center to the circumference now the next thing the next thing is Okay, the next, let me quickly get more one or two uh, questions to work on before we move on to the next thing. Okay, I will have another question this way. Now, <clears throat> in a circle, in a circle, in a circle, the angle Suspended by a chord at the circle at the circumference is thirty two degrees. If if the radius Of the circle of the circle is twelve centimeter. 
calculate the length of the curve. Now, calculate the length of the curve. That is very, very important. A very nice question that we need to understand. I want to get a length of the curve. Now, this is very technical question. A angle suspended, it has been suspended. It means I will have my circle this way. Now, I have my radius. Very, 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 that is where the question is coming out from. The angle suspended at the, I mean, by a chord at the circumference is it means I can form a chord from here and generate another radius here. Now, and form another chord is 32. 32. Okay, that is the angle. You have to open your brain at this question is because it can come out in any exam. Now, the radius is 12. If the radius of the circle is 12 centimeter, here is 12 centimeter, 12 centimeter. Now, I want to move on. Calculate the length of cord. This is the length of cord. This is the length of cord. Also, if they are length of cord, they are length of cord. How do I go? This question, we don't have angle at the center, but there will be a theorem that will prove for us that I can divide this particular line to two equal parts. I can divide it into two equal parts. Now, how do I divide it? I've divided it. I know that angle at the circumference is, is twice at the center. It means here yeah, will be will be 32. Double of it, 32 plus it will be 64. It means angle at the center is 64. That is very good. That is very good. Now, this is the length of chord we are talking about. I can call it x and x, s1, s2. It means x1 plus x2 equals to length of chord. Length of chord. Equals to length of chord. Please take note of that. x1 plus x2 equals to length of chord. Now, how do I get this x1? I can move on to sine root, which is I will have what? Sine 32 equals to x is my opposite all over 12, which is my x can be equals to 12 multiplied by sine 32. Whatever you get, which is a, um, I need to work on calculator because this is not a special angle, which I can't get it myself. Now, I will have sine um, 32, which is, I'll be having um, 12 multiplied by 0 0.5 299. Now it must be two four significant figure. That is the standard way of solving problem in mathematics. Now my s will now be equals to multiply by 12, which is I will be having 6.359359. Now I cannot approximate it equals to two significant figure. It means S will be approximately equals to 6.4 centimeter. Now, 6.4 centimeter is this my x1. And I've told you that this one is equal to this one. It means two of them is equal to length of chord. It means my length of chord, length of chord, chord, it will be equal to 60.4 plus 6.4 all in centimeter which is going to be 12.8. Now, 6.4 plus 6.4. We are having 12.8, which is, I'll be having 12.8 centimeter. That is all. 12.8 is it. Can you see how it always be? That is how it always be. Now, I would love to give more example on this part and um, before we move on to but the next one, which is our next video, will be circle theorem. I can't do property here again. Now, now let me give more example so that we can 
prostrate this point. Okay, I have um I have a question here that will give us problem whenever we are talking about a circle. Now, okay, let me just move on to this question. The diameter. of a circle is 30 centimeter and a chord is 12 centimeter from the from the center from the center find the length This is a very good, wonderful question. We are looking for the length of cord. Now, what is there is that don't be confused with what is here. A certain centimeter, which is the diameter of a circle, is thirty centimeter one, and a cord is ten is twelve centimeter from the center. This statement is a very technical statement. Okay, let me make it so real. Solution to this problem. Now, just look at the question very well. You must learn to. To interpret the question if not there will be a big problem okay now i'll draw my circle once i draw my circle i will get i need this radius i need it. now i've told you that two r equals to one diameter i've said it at the beginning of the class that two r equals to one diameter now it means i can make it a center the center o it means it is what 30 centimeter. Now, when you divide 30 centimeter, it means your radius will surely be what something very good. And we are looking for the length of cord. This is what we are looking for. This is your length of cord. And length of cord is what? Length of cord, you don't know it, you call it x. You call it x. Now, with your radius here, I can form another radius. This is the radius. It means divide 30 by 2. My radius will be what 30 divided by 2, which is going to be 15. Because here is 15 already, and radius are always equal. Here will be 15. Now, with f of this, which is 15. Now, since I have that, I cannot move on by saying that is there angle? No angle, no problem. I cannot turn this towards to something. There's no angle, yes, but there is something which is the and its um, chord is 12 centimeters from the center. It means from here to here is 12 centimeters. Now, your problem is absolved. This is, let me call it P1, P2. Now, it means P1 plus P2 equals to what? X, which is X less length of our chord. Length of chord. Let me put it right to that. Length of chord. Now, P1 equals plus P2 equals to length of chord. Now, it means I must to get my P, any of my P, because the P's are the same. I just try to eat P1, P2, just to have different stand. Now, I can move on by having my Pythagorean theorem can come to play, which is hypotenuse squared. Hypotenuse is always equal to hypotenuse is only equal to opposite squared plus adjacent adjacent squared please take note of that opposite square what is my opposite my opposite my hypotenuse is 15 which is the radius equals to my opposite is we don't know it which is called p with opposite the angle do you get me right now and um, my hypotenuse is 12 now it means my p equals to what 15 squared if you want to square 15 just notice that it will end with 25 what is length to 25 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. It means I will be having 2, 2, 5. Plus, what is 12 squared? Me, minus, ah, sorry, minus, I've collected like times. I've collected like times. Please note that. I've collected like times. Plus 144, which is I'll be having, um, that is going to be um, 16, maybe. Okay, okay, that should be um, 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 81, to be 81. It means this is squared. Take note of that. It means p squared equals to 81. Root the both sides. Root the both sides. 
P equals to 9 centimeter. Now, your 9 centimeter, it means I've said it here that 2P equals to, it means I'll be having um, 9 multiplied by 2 equals to length, length of curve. Length of curve. Which is, I will now have 18. 18 centimeter. That's what I'm looking for. It means what is here from here is 18 centimeter. I won't be able to work on table theorem as far as this video is concerned because of uh, time and uh... now in the next video I'll be working on circle theorem. Circle theorem. Please make sure you follow us all. Any problem you have, drop your email, just drop your message. You can join us on our WhatsApp group, Further Solutions Academy, and also you can join us on Facebook our page. Further Solutions Academy, and also on YouTube, our work, and much more on YouTube. Um, once again, thank you for listening and being. Thanks.